terrible, terrible night. Terrible. Ooh. Don't do that. We hope you enjoyed your stay with us, Mr. Quixote. Your visit was such a short one. But we must leave. It is impossible to dream about your poor mattresses. <laughs> Napoleon, why must you leave at this hour? Frankly, Josephine, I can't sleep on this terrible bed. Might not be a bad idea just to go on off and fight the Russians all the way to Moscow. Bon we, Sherry. Yes, and it still hurts. We didn't beat that Russian weather either. I'm exhausted. Get up. You're going with me back to the front. La front. The front of the nearest furniture store to get us a decent mattress. Hello, I'm Julia Mead. Ever since time began, the human species has sought a good night's sleep, and the attempts at finding such slumber have been... Well... Mind-blowing at times. We certainly don't have to be hit over the head to realize that there are times when it just seems impossible to get a good night's sleep. Excluding those with medical disorders requiring expert professional attention, the bedding industry has compiled vital information on how most of us can best sleep. Scientists speculate on why some people just can't seem to get the rest they need. Within each of us is a natural clock. No, Steve, you've got to wake up. Steve, you're going to miss the account this morning. Oh, Steve, you're always so... It was learned that eight hours of sleep are essential for many people, but as little as five are perfect for others. And yes, some people really do require a full ten hours of slumber each night to be their natural selves. Holy smokes, late again. They're going to kill me. Question. Is your mind trained to sleep and prepared for sleep? If not, it's time to enroll in the Julia Mead School for blissful slumber. Now, here's how you graduate. First, we drink to your snooze and make that warm milk, just as your mother always told you to. Calcium seems to have a natural tranquilizing effect. Studies made at Ohio State University say that coffee does not interfere with sleep, but people think it does. And that very act of thinking about coffee can actually cause insomnia. A warm bath, not a hot bath, is another good before bed idea. Now, of course, a cold shower has just the opposite effect, so avoid that. There are some other excellent ideas to consider, though, like... Ah, oh, exercise. A long walk or jogging before bed works great for me. My husband prefers to work out the Y during the day. 77, 78, 79, 80. Count sheep, or do like I do. Count the days back to my last pay raise. I never get that far back. <laughs> Keep it quiet. Muffle sounds by using heavy rugs and thick curtains. Of course, if the noise is coming from your spouse, more extreme measures may have to be taken. Keep it dark. 
Light can disturb your sleep or wake you too early. Go with lightproof shades or other protection from early morning light. You may even want to go to bed masked. Purchase a comfortable mattress. Buy a name brand mattress and foundation from a reputable furniture store, department store, or sleep shop. That sounds sleeping advice. After we've been through the earplugs, vibrators, and devices that simulate the sound of Niagara Falls, it will probably be the correct mattress that serves us best in getting a restful sleep. The American consumer is rightly demanding the best possible mattress and foundation. After all, we do spend about a third of our lives in bed. In early times, man found rest on leaves, animal skins, and straw. Even today, some Japanese sleep on straw mats on the floor. For centuries, the bed has been one of the most important pieces of furniture in the home. Full bedsteads were used until the 20th century, when simple frames with headboards became popular. Bedroom appearance, including the mattress, has a definite influence on our preparation for sleep. The bedroom is a haven, an escape from the outside world. It provides mental relief from daily irritations. On the other hand, it can also be a family social center. All right, you ready to lose some more? No. <laughs> okay. Don't let it get past you. To reflect the psychologically soothing atmosphere of the bedroom, surround yourself with colors that are restful rather than garish. The National Association of Bedding Manufacturers recommends the use of carpeting or rugs to absorb sound and add quiet color. If space permits, have a lounging area with chairs, a table, and reading lamps. Lighting should be subdued, but adequate for reading in appropriate areas. Even with all the usual furnishings, the bed remains the foremost object in the bedroom. So the first and most important item to select is a quality mattress and matching foundation. So while the room lighting, carpeting, and surrounding furniture may give a soft image, the last thing you want soft in the bedroom is an obsolete mattress. Doctors say a firm support is best for people who have back problems because it helps ensure that the spine is properly aligned during sleep. When your body sags out of proper alignment, it can lead to fatigue and back pain. It's necessary to select the proper firmness to provide complete support for the entire body, especially the hip and upper back and shoulder areas, which are heavier than the rest of the body. It's been said that buying a mattress is much like buying a book. You can't tell much by its cover. It's best to shop around. Become acquainted with a reputable dealer who sells a nationally recognized brand. A dealer who's been in business for a long time and is respected in his community. Compare prices, construction, and comfort. But before you enter the door to talk to a dealer, be sure you have the answers in your mind to key questions you'll be asked. You must do your homework. Right. Looks fine. And look, we have lumps. Mm -hmm. That homework includes making decisions. Has your current mattress or foundation become unsuitable? That is, is it lumpy? Does it sag in the middle? Does it forget to spring back into shape? If so, then you may need a new mattress and foundation because of condition. Uh, you think we get king size? Uh, so we have plenty of room. Uh, Why not? King size, okay. Support is closely tied to mattress condition. If you're a victim of back aches, you may be literally sinking into your mattress. A carefully selected mattress and foundation will correct that sinking. Look for a mattress that's comfortably firm, says the National Association of Bedding Manufacturers. When you're preparing to shop for a mattress, consider resiliency. That's the ability to remember to spring back into the proper shape. Decisions regarding length and width are simple, practical matters. If your toes hang over the bottom, you certainly should have a longer mattress. A double bed for two adults is a squeeze. Did you know that the average man and woman sleeping in a double bed have less sleeping surface than a baby in a crib? So if you're at that point in life where you need a shoehorn to get in and out of bed, you definitely need a queen or a king-size mattress. Besides, we Americans are a growing lot. 
and the double-sized bed is fast becoming a relic of the past. Appearance is not at the top of the consumer's list of reasons to purchase a new mattress, but it is a factor. It can be hard on the eyes to look at an older mattress that is faded and torn and out of shape. An attractive mattress and foundation gives us an aesthetic boost. So appearance is one item to add to your checklist when purchasing. Other questions you should be prepared to ask the retailer have to do with warranties and durability. And a key question before you enter the store, how much are you going to spend? If you respect that a third of your life you spend sleeping, you'll be sure not to skimp. By all means, avoid unrealistic mattress bargains, unknown brands, or mattresses with flaws or defects. Your mattress should last a long time, so look at it as a long-term investment. And right along with the warm milk, mother might have to remind you, you get what you pay for. And it is never truer than with mattresses. Now that you're armed with your questions in your checkbook, be prepared to do some serious investigating. Shop around. Visit department stores, furniture stores, and specialty mattress shops. We need a new mattress. Oh, yours is 10 years old. We got it from my brother-in-law. Uh, what we need is a, a larger mattress, a king or queen size. It's got to be very well constructed, and we want a firm mattress. Here we have a cutaway of one of our finest models where you can see the steel inner spring construction with the finest cushioning materials available. Why don't we step over here and try a couple of our queen size mattresses? In your conversations with the dealer, ask about mattress types. The two most popular types of mattress construction available today are inner spring and foam, and both are used with foundation and frame. Know what's inside the mattress and foundation you're choosing. The inner spring unit, the insulators, the cushioning materials, and high-density foam quilted to the mattress covering. All are combined to provide restful sleep comfort. You should also check to make sure that the matching foundation is properly engineered to provide correct support for your mattress. Your dealer may also want to show you water beds and mattresses designed for platform beds to offer you even more comfort ranges. Never before has there been such an opportunity for the consumer to select exactly the type of sleeping comfort he or she enjoys. Now, before I dismiss this Julia Mead School of Blissful Slumber, here are a few more shopping hints. Never shop when you're tired. Always go into a store well prepared, knowing exactly the size mattress you want, your special needs, and how much you can afford to spend. Take your time when purchasing. Ask all the questions you have about the mattress and foundation. And go ahead. Try it out. That's the big test. There's more. Once you've bought your mattress and foundation, take extra good care of them. Always be sure to protect your mattress with a mattress pad. And be especially careful with sharp instruments. Never bend or fold an inner spring mattress. Turning and reversing the mattress every few months is important, but make those turns end to end. Now, for any other questions you may have about investing and resting, if my school isn't in session, go directly to your dealer. He has all the literature, samples, and demonstrations you need to have. Well, here are some folks who look as though they could use some expert sleep advice. Madam, could you lead us to the possible dream? I believe I can. <laughs> I've got some experts right over here who'd be honored to assist all of you. Napoleon, hello. I'm Julia Mead. Josephine, would you like to lie down on this bed? It's so comfortable, the most comfortable in the whole world. 